popping YouTube family. It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel. Silverback CIs. Hope all is well with everybody. First off, do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Now today, I'm here with a video that I've heard of so much about this fragrance. And it's the most popular fragrance that I know of from a very, 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 <laughs> and I do mean very, expensive fragrance house. If you'd like to find out which house I'm talking about and which fragrance I'm talking about, keep it locked. Well, let's get down to the meat and potatoes. Today, I'm here with my first fragrance in my collection from Bordesia the Victorious, and I'm here with the ultra popular Blue Sapphire. Now, first things first, let's get to the sliding cover that covers the box of meat and potatoes. Got the house on the front. Little product information, 100 mil bottle on the back. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. Here is the upper part of your box. And I will get to the part of this box presentation that I don't like. Your bottle rests in this little podium. Now, when it comes to the box presentation, it sits in that podium, little resting bed here. But it's the most flimsiest thing in the world. They ought to be ashamed of themselves for how that sits and how this bottle rocks back and forth and can fall out of here and break for the amount of money that you spend for it. But I'll get to that here in a minute. Here is your bottle presentation. Now, I'm led to understand that this is a 14, 24 karat gold top for this. I don't know if the gold plating on here is supposed to be the 14 karat gold too and then on the back Bordesia Victorious gold plate flawless beautiful bottle presentation let's give her a spray excellent atomizer but what does this thing smell like I got a lot to tell y'all but let's go over the accords for this one Aromatic, herbal, oud, floral, citrus, patchouli, warm spicy, rose, amber, fresh spicy. With top notes of lemon, chamomile, sage, tagets, and saffron. Mid notes of rose, Indian jasmine, magnolia, oud, patchouli, and amber. But what do you really get with this fragrance? Now, when this fragrance's opening spray is, what you get is candied citrus. So the lemon and the chamomile and tagets flower, floral parts of it in the opening are very, very candied versus getting citrus that is like tart or just only smells like citrus. It's almost like they have a sugary, syrupy base to the, to the citrus notes that are in the opening of this. Beautiful, and I mean beautiful smelling scent profile, but I'll get more off of that in a minute. But as it begins to dry down, all of the florals that are in this fragrance here also seem like they've been drizzled with some honey. So they have a sweetness to them, a very, very robust uh, floral smelling nature. So this one here is not one of those ones that sit close to the skin right away or nothing like that. Those candy citrus that I spoke about in the opening and the top notes of this fragrance right here, the top notes alone are opening for most people within the fragrance community. Opening for this fragrance lasts for like the first three hours. Going into that fourth hour, you're still getting those candy citruses and those honey drizzled floral within this fragrance. Lasts forever. The longest lasting opening of any fragrance in my entire collection. Then, about that four and a half, five hour mark, you drift off into the nice line share of the mid. That's when those florals reign supreme from the very beginning, even though oud is listed in the base notes, you get oud from the very beginning, but it's not a skanky oud, not a stanky oud. It's just a really, really strong, earthy, woody background for the oud. And it also has that patchouli resting in the background of those woods. Then about six, seven hours, 
into the lifetime of this fragrance is when you kind of begin to experience the amber nuances. But this thing here projects like a monster. So this is not one of those fragrances where you, you want to be that guy that got extremely happy that you spent this kind of money on a fragrance because I haven't got to that part yet, but I will. Uh, and spray away. This ain't one of those deals where you spray away. This ain't one of those things where you drown your clothes with this particular fragrance because that's how strong it is. I've worn this a couple times to test it out. I've worn it to a very, very formal occasion, dressed similar, if not a little bit more dressier as far as having a suit coat on with this fragrance, and it it made a heck of an impact, and not, a, not in a negative way. But it was one of those ones where I only sprayed this thing about four times for this particular event. And people coming through the door about five feet from me could smell what I had on. And everybody gave a really, really good, positive feedback. But it lets me know that this thing's packed some punch and you need to be able to be disciplined on how you go about using it. Because this is probably two, two and a half arm lengths worth of projection. And uh, it carries a heavy siage as well. Now, when you get to about that eight, nine hour mark, this thing is still radiating off the skin. Longevity on this thing here overall, 16 plus hours. <laughs> I stopped clocking it at about 12 hours because I probably sprayed it at like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. And it still was pumping big time at 10, 11 o'clock that night. Now, what did I pay for this fragrance? Initially, when I first heard about this fragrance, it was $900 a bottle on the Board of Sea of Victoria's website. I recently looked at the Board of Sea of Victoria's website just to kind of get an eye and some notes off of other fragrances that I might be interested in. And I seen Blue Sapphire on here with the 100 ml bottle and a 50 ml bottle of this. And I'm not for sure if it was the fragrance or a hair mist, but it might have been the fragrance. And it was $700 some dollars for the two bottles. I thought that was a crazy great bargain. But I will also have the price that I paid for it at Jumma Shop. At Jumma Shop, this past February, if I'm not mistaken, I think is when I uh, picked up this fragrance, and it was $524, which that's still the going price that I've seen on Jumma Shop's website right now. And uh, feel free to click the uh, website in, the bio, in the, uh, my description of the video and go check it out for yourself. I thought that was a steal of a deal for a bottle that started off at 900 bucks. Jama Shop's fragrances for sure are legit and I got it for a little bit over half what it initially cost when this fragrance first came out. Uh, what do I think of this fragrance? This here is a showstopper. This is one of those fragrances that you just can't spray and go to work, spray and just go lounge with your homies, play the video game. That's not what this is for. I wouldn't wear this fragrance here with a t-shirt. Not even maybe a polo shirt unless I'm going somewhere outside to where you can give this thing some air. Because this one here can not only choke you out, it can choke everybody out at any event you go to if you overspray this one right here. That's how strong it is. Now my, into the, mind you, into the experience that I had for it, after 16 hours, of course I took a shower for the night. Cleaned myself up, got out the shower, and could still smell it. It was almost like I resprayed one spray. Because it's like the shower brought it all the way back to life again after 16 hours of having it on skin. Now, I sprayed uh, a button-up dress shirt like I got on right now with this uh, fragrance here. I washed that shirt two times, and the fragrance was still in the collar of it, which lets me know that you don't want to. This is not one of those ones where you got to spray your clothes heavy to get it to perform. It's going to perform because I'm assuming that Bordesia de Vitoris' fragrance oils and uh, notes that they put in their fragrances are top tier how this one performed now I can't speak for anything else because I haven't got a chance to spend any time with anything else from the from the house but I'm very very intrigued after getting this one here this one here is going to be one of those ones that I bring out on special occasions anniversary trips out of town where it's just me and my wife or other couples and so on and so forth or you go to a gala or if you go to like scent split uh not scent split but scent explorer in New York, where there's going to be multiple other people who are wearing fragrances that are dressed nice, that are looking to have a good time, and you want to make sure that you make your mark or make your stamp on that crowd and are able to, for
for your fragrance sake, be able to compete with all those different scents that are going to be dancing around that hall and that special gallery or whatever, or gala, that's when you want to break out something like this. But you also want to make sure that you're dressed the part, you smell the part, and you have a good personality so it can all mix together and do its thing. Because one thing about it, this fragrance right here, as far as performance, ain't going to let you down. For those of you that can look past the price tag and you're willing to invest in something that if you look at the longevity of having this fragrance, if you're not spraying it all the time and you look up and you've had this bottle for five years, the $500 price tag don't sound as bad than the initial cost. Uh, I will say this is a scent profile, though it's not for everybody. So rather than blind buy it like I did based off of the reviewers whose opinions and noses that I trust, I would say get on scentsplit.com, get you a sample or any other website that sells Board of City of Victoria samples or get in some of the Facebook groups that will allow you to sample this fragrance first before you thumb out that money because once you got it, you got it unless you're going to try to sell it if you don't like it. I personally think for an overall rating, it's a 10 out of 10. Now, this podium that this doggone fragrance uh, rests in was a disappointment. Because the podiums that I'm used to when it comes to expensive fragrances normally come from Rosier Parfums. And they hug the fragrance. You can sit your fragrance anywhere and not worry about the bottle coming out. But this thing here, look at that. Up, down, all around. Bottle dancing around. So that was a letdown. Because everything else I can say about this whole box versus bottle presentation, two thumbs up. But the podium, this, this is trash. So I'm not happy about that. But overall, I would quickly invest in another Board of City of Victoria's fragrance because I like the house so far. I like everything, and I love this bottle. This is actually my favorite bottle of my entire collection. I love the color. I think my favorite color is blue. Got the gold accents on it, and the scent is breathtaking. Smell it now. Now, considering that this is in the afternoon that I sprayed this, I'll take a shower at night. I guarantee when I wake up in the morning, I'll still be able to pick this up. It'll be a skin set by then, but it'll still be there. And I don't know if y'all can see that oil sheen on the back of my hand. Might blind the camera. So the oil concentration in this is second to none. Overall rating, 10 out of 10, which I don't know if I've said that already. Performs, not a cheap one. So like I said, sample before you buy. But I think those of you that are looking for something different, looking for something that allows you to be able to make your stamp on a room that you walk in, or go places where you're going to be dressed up and you want your clothing to match your scent performance and it's a pleasant scent profile, I recommend that you give this a try. If you have anything else by the House of Board of City of Victoria that y'all think I should get a sample of and get my nose on and maybe bring to the channel, if not, it's blind by worthy. Leave a comment in the comments and let me know. Other than that, that's my time. Peace.